Welcome back to Jay Smokehouse and the History of Cannabis series, Cannabis in the Bronze Age, Part 2. Last episode, we left off with Egypt and India. So we left off in Egypt last episode with the Ebers Papyrus. However, this is only one of four papyri that date back to the Bronze Age in Egypt that mention medicinal cannabis. The first would be the Ramses III Papyrus. That dates back to 1700 BC. Another one would be the Berlin Papyrus. This one dates back to 1300 BC. And the last would be the Chester Beatty Medical Papyrus VI that dates back to 1300 BC also. All of these papyri mention medical cannabis in some way. Now, even more interesting than that, and I even remember this coming out in the news when it happened. Now, when they were testing the mummy of Ramses II, who died in around 1213 BC, they found traces of cannabis pollen. But that's very interesting that his mummy had pollen on it. What that says to me is that Egypt knew about cannabis and the medicinal properties very early on. Now, if the Egyptians knew about it, surely many around them also knew about it. Moving on to the Vedas or the sacred Hindu texts. Now, again, I've seen many dates for this ranging from 2000 BC all the way to 1200 BC. So I'm not sure when they were written. In the Vedas, it describes cannabis as such. A source of happiness, a joy giver, and a liberator that was given to attain delight and lose fear. Now, as I said in my last episode, the Vedas alludes that they knew about the psychoactiveness of cannabis or that it could get you high. But they still used it medicinally and also as an offering to Shiva. Now, when I found out why they gave it as an offering to Shiva, I was really interested. It's really an interesting story. It says that Shiva was in a fight with, I think, family members or friends and was exhausted from this fight and so went and laid down under a plant of leaves. When they awoke, they decided to feast on these leaves and the flowers. They were instantly rejuvenated and decided to make this cannabis plant their favorite plant. Thus, it says that there are five sacred plants in the Vedas and cannabis is one of those five and Shiva named it their favorite. Now, it mentions cannabis as sacred grass, and when it's mentioning this, it's mentioning the dried flowers, stems, and seeds all mixed together. What they would do with this sacred grass is they would mix it typically with milk, and they would call this mixture bang. I think that's how it's pronounced. It's B-H-A-N-G, so I think it's bang. Let me know if I'm mispronouncing that. Anyway, this drink bang, they would use it medicinally and also as an offering to Shiva. So I just found that really interesting as their story of cannabis. Now, the Vedas says that they use cannabis to aid many ailments such as aches and pains, insomnia, and gastrointestinal disorders. Now, that about wraps it up with the Bronze Age. However, now that it's in Egypt and India, it really explodes after the Bronze Age, right at the start of the Iron Age. And a little bit before the Iron Age, you're going to see some interesting stuff next episode. I might have to break it down into a couple of parts. But oh my goodness, I can't even explain about how excited I am. It's crazy where cannabis went. And I never even knew where it went, how it got there. It's really amazing. And if you haven't really gotten into the series yet, I urge you, watch next episode. It's going to be really, really good. It's giving me goosebumps just thinking about talking to you guys about this and letting you know, oh man, this is going to be exciting. But if you learned anything or you enjoyed this episode at all, please leave a like and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And now, as always, Jay is going to go smoke a Jay.